we go. So you always hear me talking about action and reaction. We're building scenarios. We're trying to memorize the possible reactions your opponent can give you to maintain that that one step ahead uh, position, both uh, mentally and physically. I'm trying to figure out where he's going before he goes, and then use that movement to improve my position and hopefully land a submission along the way. So from the beginning, I was here in this, I stepped, caught it here. If you get this, if you need to finish it with the hand, that's okay, no big deal. Come back, be careful, and there's a couple of you really nailed it. The wrist will go real quick, especially when your weight's on it like this. It's just an upside down gooseneck. The one when it's going into your chest really hurts. This is, the floor's not moving and your chest is rough. So it is very, very painful when you twist that and put that on there, mm -hmm. it really hurts quick. So be careful with each other on that, unless you're uh, doing out there and you don't like somebody. Okay, then do it with extreme prejudice. <laughs> so I have this. Now, we're not gonna, we'll, we'll go through the whole thing, yeah? yeah? So the hand comes up, the hand comes up. <laughs> it's your cue, man. <laughs> no Peter Pan roll for you. Okay, so I keep this tight. I start rotating myself. I'm not pushing. I'm rotating everything together. Top wrist lock right there. Okay, he rips his hand out. He's strong or we're sweaty. I change over quick. Nice and tight. Positive control. Block the head quickly. Block his hip. Pulling in. I'm going to flex my form and pull my elbow into his rib. That's where we're taking the slack out. The slack's gotta come out. Every submission has an extension, but before that, I wanna strangle all the air out of it first. Then, pull down. So it barely moves. Now, let's go back a second and assume that this arm never comes up. I'm sitting here like this, waiting and waiting. He's got the thickest wrists on earth. Nothing's happening here. I'm kinda like, all right, crap. I look like an idiot sitting here like this. We're gonna have a conversation in a second. So I'm going to come down here. Now look, when I come around, we're going to start working into the cobra choke. I don't want to be pulling this hard around his head because I need room to move. So when I come under here, I'm going to grab with my index finger and my thumb at the very base there, that same position, because I don't want to be doing this. I want it loose. I still have control. I put my head on it for a little extra insurance, not to do anything else, but to maintain a little control. I'm going to change my base, keep a low profile, slide over to the mount. And because I kept this loose, it's very, very easy for me to come through with my knife edge. Plenty of room here, okay? I'm gonna do two different submissions. The first one's gonna be the Cobra. The elbow comes up, I secure it, down. Now, I'm not gonna drive straight down. My elbow comes up, it clears the path, and then I drive down. Yeah, you okay? So the elbow drives up, clears the path, and then crushes down. Now, if that doesn't work for some reason, you can go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel is not necessarily a Gitu but I need an angle. So I sit out with a hurdler mount, come back up here, making a fist, I'm going right into the karate. I'm driving that way, straight away. Pretty quick choke, and that's blood. So we went from air here, right? Air choke with the cobra, came back to the Ezekiel. I turned my body's angle and drove that bone right at the bottom of my hand, straight away. Okay, so back here, we're in this position. This arm didn't respond. He's, he, maybe he knows what's coming. He's not silly. He's smart. But I got to make something happen anyways. So you can come back to your wrist lock, whatever. But I'm going to sneak this hand under. I want to make sure my chest is below his elbow when I do it. I don't want to be here trying to do this because now i got to reach further. Stay here. Come under. Index finger nice and low. Just get a good grip. Don't squeeze it and twist him and turn him. I, don't, I want him to stay here. But I want it loose. So I'm here. I put my head on it for extra security. Change my base. Low profile. Up over. Come up just enough, knife edge in, straight down, lift the elbow all the way around, put it back down, lift the elbow up, and clear the path, and crush it straight down. Okay, now we switch that to the Ezekiel, I ungrip, sit out, I have an angle hurdler mount, I'm taking that little fat part of my hand right there, right in there to take his pulse, and just push away. That's all it is. I'm pulling this in a little bit just to make sure his head doesn't move. Pull in, push away. Very quick blood choke. Okay, guys? Let's give that a shot. Let's go. One, two, three.